got a card here. It has one dot on this side, four on this side, three on this side, and six on this side. How can that be? Check it out. It's one, four, three, six, and back to one. Actually, I'll fill you in with the secret. See, there's only two dots on this side. So you hold it like this, it looks like one. You hold it like this, it looks like three. Same with the other side. There's four there and six there. And so that's how you show the card. But if you really want to get them, you can turn the card around and show eight. For this version of the trick, you're going to need, I think black works best for this. You can experiment with other colors, but because at the very end, uh, there's gonna be a crease in the card itself, I think that black works best. You're gonna need three of these pieces. Uh, you, of course, we have the uh, downloadable template uh, PDF, and that gives you the size for these as well as you're gonna, I'm gonna use stickers here, which I think makes it a lot easier to set everything up, but you're welcome to cut out your own circles or triangles or diamonds, uh, what have you. So here's the setup, three of these. And you need to fold two of them in half. There, and There, so you have these two pieces. Now you're gonna glue half of these together in this fashion like this. So you have something that looks like this. Now this part here will get glued onto the third card here. So let's do that. And this goes right here. So you have the piece here, and it's got a flap. So the first part of the trick is actually just as we explain it. The second part has to do with this flap. And then you'll be able to perform the trick. Now let's add the stickers. Now to put on the stickers, you'll want to download our PDF template, which gives you dimensions for this, these pieces here that form the prop, as well as you'll want to download the PDF so it shows you the placement of the stickers. So I'll put them on for you right now. So uh, just print out the template, fold it in half, and it'll give you the front and back configurations. But I'll just put it together for you right here. And you have your prop. So you can show this as one, four, three, six. And we'll talk about the explanation there. Now, for the real secret, what you're gonna do is take this flap and move it over here. And now we're gonna put that crazy configuration for the finale in. You can show it as one, four, three, six. 
Something that makes this trick a little difficult for some people is that what you're showing the audience over here is different from what you're seeing here. But I'll try and explain. So what you're gonna do is show the first part here towards the audience and you wanna show a one. So you can place your hand on the bottom and you show one. So if you want to know what you're showing the audience, all you have to do is tilt back a little bit and you can see, it's a little hard to show it here, but all you do is tilt back the card like this and you can see what number the audience is seeing. Now, now that you're showing a one that side, take your left hand, place it here over this dot, and you can see the four, and then you turn it over and you show four to your audience. Take your right hand, now notice how I'm twisting my wrist here. I grab it here in the blank space, I turn it around, I show three. Turn my wrist as I did the first time with the left hand. Cover the blank space here and you can see the six and I show six. So once again, you can always see what you're gonna show before you show the audience. So here you cover the dot, you show one. Cover the dot here. Remember you turn your wrist to your left hand and turn and you're sure gonna show four. Turn your wrist, cover. You're gonna turn, show three, you see the three already, and turn your wrist, cover the blank, see the six, and the six. So that's one, four, three, six. It's always the same motion with the hands throughout, which is going to take a little practice. You have your prop all finished, and so we have the instruction that talks about how to do this part. So just Study that so you learn how to show the one, four, three, six combination. And then as you explain, you have two here, makes that one, makes that three. You have your this, so it looks like four, looks like six. And at this point, kind of in an offbeat, you take your thumb and flip this over, showing this, and then say, if you really want to get them, I can turn this over and show you eight. Just some thoughts on handling this card. Because you have this flap here, you have to be careful that you don't show the flap. So there's two ways to approach this. Number one is always make sure that you're holding this flap down with your other fingers. So for example, here, that's easy because my thumb is on the back and I'm holding it down. Now when you turn it over to the other side, see that's when it gets a little tricky because here I have to hold this with my thumb here, otherwise it's going to fall out and even from here you can kind of see that so you have to be careful and the other side here as I turn this one this is probably the crucial one you have to kind of keep the grip over here as you turn it over see otherwise that flap comes out you don't want to show that prematurely the other thing is when you're at this point it's nice to make sure that the card is directly at the spectators and that way they don't see the flap starting to come out because you're actually releasing it here. And then I like to kind of move it forward. See how my hand over here is, is moving towards the back to get it with my thumb. But what I do is I move it forward and that way it kind of covers the action of the thumb, bringing it over. And then you can show the finale with the eight. Something else that you can experiment with is you could use a little piece of Velcro here that would hold the flap down for you. Maybe even magnets underneath the paper here. Uh, those two, or you can use something sticky like uh, maybe post-it note or reattachable uh, glue. Something just a little tacky and that holds it down for you and that'll make it much easier to handle the prop. By the way, if you're interested in performing the trick and would like a pattern, because this is a little confusing here, I do have a PDF that you can download at the website and you can use that as a pattern. In fact, you could even use that as the basic trick itself. Uh, something you can download as a PDF, just print it out and you're ready to go. Well, I hope you have fun performing these easy magic tricks for your friends and family. Please give us a like and please subscribe for more video lessons in the future. And by the way, please comment below if there are any tricks that you would like us to teach in future lessons. Thank you for watching. See you next time.